It's the beginning of 2022 and in this video I'm going to be completely exposing my total finances to reveal my net worth to you. If you are interested in the subject then make sure you hit that like button down below, subscribe to the channel and don't go anywhere because today we're talking about it. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Javon and on this platform, I talk about a lot from finances to investing to building money management to credit scores to life in the workforce and so much more. So after you're done watching this video, make sure you scroll through my other videos as well because I'm pretty sure you're going to find something that you are going to like. If you're watching this video right now, it's probably because the thumbnail got you intrigued. Enlighten me. To give you more content before completely diving in, last year I created this playlist right here in order to track my growing network. Now the reason I decided I wanted to make that playlist was because I wanted to exactly write down how I'm growing as the years progress and I also wanted to build a community where we can all learn and grow from each other. Now if you want to watch my progress from the very beginning, I'm going to leave a link in the video to the first video and I'm also going to leave a link in the descriptions below as well so that way you can watch the progression video by video I release something every three months tracking my network so you can get a general idea of how I'm progressing and what I'm doing to make those steps happen when I updated my network at the beginning of this year I wanted to take a blast from the past and see just how far I came along at this same time or around the same time last year my total net worth was a little over seventy thousand dollars today just 12 months later my net worth has exploded by over nine $8,000. To see exactly how and where that growth came from, we are going to be diving into the numbers right now. All right, so jumping into my net worth calculator, the first thing we are going to look at is my assets. An asset is anything you own that has value, whether that's cars, cash, property, or what have you. The first item in my list is my primary residence, which is listed at a current value of $239,000. Now, I didn't pull this number out of anywhere random. Recently, I made a video about selling my home. After making that video, I've decided to go forth with the process, and after meeting my realtor and analyzing the current market we are in, we decided my house could easily sell for this number, which is why I have it reflected it this way in my spreadsheet. After my house, I also have my car listed here as well at an $8,000 evaluation. Now moving on down, we are going to take a look at the liquid category. This category is named liquid because everything here is either cash or can be traded for cash in less than 24 hours. The first row in this column pertains to a snapshot of the amount I have stashed away in a banking account, which is a little over 20,000. Now this may seem like a lot, but I hate having money sitting around in an account without a purpose, and this situation is no different. Soon, that money is going to be deployed towards another rental property soon, and if you wanna check out what that process looks like, make sure you subscribe to the channel so that way you don't miss the amazing content that I'm dropping for completely free, by the way. Next, after that, we have my savings in cash, which works as an emergency fund. Now, this number has decreased as time has gone on because I have used money from this pot as last year progressed, but I plan to refill this pot up soon, so no worries there. Some of the money is in a savings account and the rest is in crypto because I don't know, I, I, I like the thought of my savings working for me instead of losing to inflation year after year. Now, lastly, we have another account with a little over $1,000 inside of it. This account is for my rental property. Now, if you wanna know what renting looks like as a beginning real estate investor and how to get your first property, especially if you're looking out of state instead of in state because your in state prices are crazy, then I have created a playlist here documenting the whole journey so make sure you give that a watch as well. Finally, let's scroll down my last category here, which is investments. Now, the first column contains an amount that I have in my retirement fund. This account grows as the year goes by because I continually invest a portion of my paycheck into retirement. And I believe if you can, you should definitely try to do the same thing. Now, after that, we see I have a Robinhood account with a total evaluation of $5,575 and one cent inside of it. I did some investing in particular stocks last year, mostly Tesla, 
And it's been nice to sit back and watch that account progress during this hectic marketplace. And the marketplace has been really hectic, honestly. <laughs> Finally, we have my rental property being an estimated net worth of $85,000. This brings my total amount and assets up to $387,044.52. Now that may sound like a lot of money, but remember when you're calculating your net worth, you don't only want to add up how much your assets are worth. You also want to add up how much your debt is worth. And then you're going to subtract your debt from your total asset amount in order to get your true net worth. Now, luckily for me, calculating my net worth is really simple because I don't have that much debt. I only have two items worth of debt. So for my primary residence, I owe the bank $162,703.60. And for my rental property, I owe the bank $55,033.27. Now that brings my total debt amount up to $217,736.80. When I subtract my debt from my total net worth, I'm sorry, when I subtract my debt from my assets, I get my total net worth. That's basically what I'm left with. And dun, 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 the net worth estimate of $169,377.70 is my current net worth as of January the 7th, 2022. Now, this is a little over $98,000 worth of growth in only a year and I am super excited to have achieved this. All right, so now that you have a better look at what those numbers look like on paper, I wanna discuss a little bit more about how I got exactly to the place where I am now. So I am currently 26 years old. But back in 2017, when I was still a junior in college, I applied to a scholarship that would pay off for my grad school. I wanted to go to grad school and I needed a scholarship to cover it because I didn't have any money. I was broke, typical college student. So I needed some type of scholarship to cover those future costs. I applied for a scholarship, got it. I was super pumped about it. Not only because that scholarship paid for grad school, but it also came with a $30,000 stipend that I got to use all for myself. Now, typically somebody probably would have used it to cover rent or any of other life expenses, but me, myself, and I, I chose to use that money to put a down payment on my car and also to put a down payment on the current house that I am inside of right now. I bought this house back in 2019, and when I bought it, it sold for an asking price of a little over $178,000. This same house, two years later, is worth at least $239,000, which is at least a $60,000 growth or a little bit over that. On top of the decisions I made on getting this house, I also got to where I am currently by learning how to build up my credit so I can tap into other sources of funds, learning about budgeting, creating some type of budget or lifestyle management tool so that way I can guide myself smartly through financial choices I would be making throughout the years, and also looking at the way Americans lead a consumer lifestyle and deciding that I wanted to go down a different path in order to create a better life for myself and also the family that I have and the one that I will currently I will make one day. Long story short, I didn't get here overnight. In order to get to where I am, it took a long time. And in order to get to where I plan to go, it's going to take an even longer time. But don't worry because I plan to share the whole journey with you. And I hope that some of you can join me along in your real life and we can all reach that goal of financial independence and having more freedom in our lives to do what we want, say as we please, and go about as we can while making humanity a better place than we left it. Now, hopefully you got something useful out of this video. If so, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, leave a like button if you like the video. It's going to help go out to other people who may want to see this type of content. Make sure you subscribe to the family. I would love to have you join the team. And other than that, I'm going to leave you with a happy new year and also a peace, love, and happiness.